I'm beginning to wonder if we ever get anything done during the summer. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Bad Tree Productions here. I am going to take the crankshaft from the stroker motor. It had just, I mean, I don't even know if you can consider you could catch it with your fingernail, but. <laughs> Really? That thing said 40% when I turned it on and it just died. Damn it, Ty. Anyways, something, something, something. Uh, anyways, the journals on the crankshaft, just to, I mean, they look, you'll see them. They look, eh, like I said, you can't catch it with a fingernail. I even tried this finger. Yeah! Um. So Andy, the neighbor, has got a pretty nice shop. You've probably seen parts of it before. I'm gonna head down there and uh, we're gonna chuck it in the lathe and I have some selection of papers. A thousand grit, don't know if we'll use that. Seems pretty rough, ha ha. But I have 2,500 and crocus cloth, which to me feels like as rough as a paper towel so yeah we're gonna go ahead and um chuck in a lathe and spin it around and give her a little wipe down i guess uh keep wd-40 sprayed on i got that too so yeah we'll get stuff loaded in the truck and check it out It's, I don't know, it's freezing. Hard to see, I got oil all over it. But anyways, there's that. About 30 degrees outside maybe, don't know for sure. Typical. Typical day. Of course, this fire's right up. All right. Run down the sh down to the shop and uh, probably come back when we're all set up. Hopefully this goes easy. I did this once before using an engine block to hold the crank and did it by hand. I just think the lathe will be a little easier, a little faster. All right, we'll see you in a minute. I had to come by and check out the river. Getting pretty froze up out there. It's a veritable winter wonderland. Oh yeah. And it looks like it's starting to precipitate out here a little bit. We'll be fine. Oh. Okay, we made it. You go back a couple episodes, you can see me running a train that I don't know how to run. Me and Andy put this up. Pretty fun. All right, let's get the shit out the truck. All right, we're here now. Andy got her chucked up for me. What year is this lathe? Uh, I thought it was 1966, he thinks, lathe. It's got a bunch of cool shit in here. It's a pretty strange way to figure it out. We got the way they explained it to me. Bolt action gear shift. I don't remember. It's old. It's it's like the third dynasty in China, like the 10th year of that emperor. 
What the heck? It's, it's true. It's no bullshit. Yeah. The, the way that Okuma was, it was made in Nagoya, Japan. So it's from the Ming Dynasty. I don't know if it's the Ming or if it's a different one, but it's, it, that's the way they say that it, <laughs> when the year was made. I'd have to look it up, but I think it was 66 if I remember right. Wow. But it's, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. It's a, G, it's a JDM. It's, no, like a, it's, it's like a, a Nissan Skyline. It's an Okuma. Oh. Okuma is the brand name, yeah. No, JDM is like car shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so I had to practice before I turned the camera on, but we're going to start with the 1,000, move up to, well, it's 25, trust me, 2,500, and then the crocus cloth. So it's just going to be, it's slow going. I'll kind of show you how I'm holding the sand to paper. So I'm gonna figure out where I can put you guys first. Rubber band. We'll kind of lay this. So. Couple. I really. 
maybe I'm overreacting, but you really can't cut your fingernail on these. You can just see them, so let me know if I'm wasting my time. Whatever. So on and so forth. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, this might be sketchy. Okay, and... Too tight. Yeah, the paper's too damn wide. Trim it down. It's coming along, folks. Tedious. Tedious. Got to see. I've gotten braver, so I've ramped the speed up to 63 ripums. Any professionals out there, I apologize now for the lack of doing this the right way. Polishing my crank. Polishing the crank. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. I guess I really can't. Nice and smooth. Sweet. All the action shots here. situation report it is it's hard to see just barely can feel there that one is super smooth they 
they look like they got marks on them, but come on. They're, they're smooth with a fingernail, so I'm not getting too excited, I don't think. I'm going to do this one. That one's good. This one is a little, you can catch it. Some resemblance of a fingernail. This one here looks brand, brand new used. So, yeah. And the thousand grit seems to be working pretty good with a little WD. So, some more pieces cut, ready. Handy dandy machine rubber band. Still cold outside. 63 ribbons. But yeah. It's looking good. Looking real good. I'm pretty happy. I think any discrepancies that are still in there will be most easily taken up with a film of oil. You know, they say loose is fast. <laughs> All right. Back in gear. Keep going. does about everything in here. It's working good. We're gonna dial her up into the danger zone. Got her set to uh, 100 120 ripums. Watch this. This is slightly nerve-wracking. It's working faster this way. It's all about speed and performance. Okay. Okay. And corn tech. <laughs> Scary, do you think? Dial it right up there. I'm not going to go any faster, though. This looks hairy. It's working out better than I expected, though. Much better. There is still some slight marks. You can see them, but you cannot feel them. So, whatever that means. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Polish in my crank. All right. So we'll give it a spinsies and look at it and its rotating capabilities. I'd say it looks good. <laughs> All right. This is the soccer I just made. Back the way we found it. 
And he made a socket. What was that for? This was for that uh, F700 Ford. Oh, the rear brakes. Yeah, the rear brakes. Oh my lord. I had to make it and weld it all together. It worked. Looks chuck, nice. Chuck it and lay it the face it off. It makes a big difference. So make, nice and yeah. Yeah, so it's flat. Yeah. Makes it not look like shit when you get done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want it to look like shit. Yeah. Not on the stuff you work on. Injectors? Injectors on a Kubota. I think it's a seven. 1706 or something like that. 1703. Yeah, engine. She's a cute little engine. Yeah, it's a little digger. Yep. Runs She's pretty good. A little digger. Enough power to get you in trouble. Yeah, enough power to dig up power lines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks again for the use of the lathe. Yeah, no problem. I got other stuff to do. So, Stop back anytime you want to. All right. Yeah. Still trying to figure out where we're going to put our car lift. <laughs> Gotta get rid of some of this junk. I'm hoping that'll go right there. <laughs> yeah. But there might be some issues beforehand putting that in though. So. All right. Talk about that later. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm out of here. All right. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. I got to show you the coolest forklift ever. You betcha. All right, it wasn't much. It was a lot of tedious, boring stuff, so. And, battery's not looking too good. Of course, it's not. Get this truck here. So, back to world headquarters. And uh, we will go over a few things there. I think Blake's coming over too. We still got that. We got so much to do, stuff to do. So, all right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, oh, and he's got some good stuff. Good guy too. Oh, don't want to hit his little truck. Oh yeah, tools of the trade here. Yep. I should probably open the door first. It's nothing to do with that heavy ass crankshaft. Oh yeah, oh, baby. that'll be it short and sweet really didn't know what I was doing but I did it this is not a how-to it's how I did it it's probably not right but I feel better about it um so yeah that's it like share subscribe and uh and uh, I don't know what we're doing next I'm sure it has something to do with that or those or that, this stuff. I gotta go through too and spray all these galleys out. I don't know if I get up, maybe I get a pipe cleaner. Go through them all. Yep, slow and steady, I guess. All right, see you heathens later. <laughs>